you want to put them in the blanket and bring them out of the, the yeah, hot yeah. stuff? for his claws. Do you want to put him in the blanket and bring him out of the, the hot stuff? The crews are heading into danger and almost certain whiteout. They are trying to contain fires which are moving with a frightening ferocity. The thing is, this area doesn't even look as dry as other areas, and yet it's going up in flames. They're working in stifling heat with temperatures well over 40 degrees Celsius. He just dropped three and a half thousand litres then. It barely made a difference. 
The crews have to repeatedly refill, and still the fires keep coming. Batemans Bay is a popular tourist destination, but the most intense blazes here have turned the skies a bright amber. The crews are manoeuvring near blind, dropping what seems like trickles of water in comparison to the giant bushfires. You can hardly make them out in this suffocating smoke fog as they try and try to stop the fire's relentless and unpredictable move towards homes and farms. Pilot James Williams is only 26, but he's clocked up a staggering number of hours in his short career battling the bushfires. Have you been shocked by what's been happening, what you've seen? Uh, yeah, it's, it's shocking just how, how um, easy these fires have started and how quick they move, um, especially on a day like today. They cover, you know, distances, distances that you would never think of. The damage is extensive. Does that make you feel sad seeing that, James? It is. It's, uh, it's devastating the amount of land that we've lost in, the, in all these fires. But with winds of more than 80 miles per hour, the firefighting authorities simply can't keep up with the breakouts. This is what the New South Wales fire authorities are having to put up with.